Today we're going to talk about tokens and why shorts use them, what Citadel's $240 billion debt means and how the squeeze trigger works first. Let's look at some important points, especially one from a tweet that brings these problems to light. Watch it to find out why shorts use tokens. Rule 204 says that we need to take a look at the regulators. If a broker or dealer is part of a registered clearing service, they have to close out FTB positions that didn't deliver. To do this, they need to either buy or borrow the same kind of amount of paper. Like an ANC token, they don't have to buy the exact protection, but something that is like it. 20th rule to close out FTD positions, brokers must buy or borrow related stocks in line with four rules. So, even though they don't own the securities, they can meet their obligations with borrowed securities or MC tokens. This sentence needs the word borrow a lot. Brokers don't have to buy the securities themselves, they can borrow them instead. This lets them close out FTD contracts without having to own the securities. This happens a lot, which helps explain why there are so many MC and MUN coins. Many of the THs for MC and GNME could be paid for with borrowed stocks or tokens instead of real shares. This makes THs look fixed on paper, but they're not really. So, over time, unanswered FTDS can pile up, which can have a stacking effect that can be very bad for the market. The problem at its core gets worse as more futures deals are settled with borrowed securities or tokens. If brokers and businesses start going out of business, the market could eventually fall apart. This was recently shown in a tweet from Biotech Moose that brings up another important point. Citadel's huge debt Citadel is said to owe more than $240 billion, even though they make $1 billion a year. They would need 24 years to pay off their debt and buy back IU shares at this rate. Citadel is short a lot of stocks worth $65 billion. These bets are backed by other assets but add to their debt. The real numbers could be a lot higher, which would mean that the financial hole is a lot bigger. Citadel's use of loans and security makes their debt even worse. They've added to their debt by getting credit lines in the UK and new loans in the US. They have debts from these secured loans and short bets. Citadel has too much debt to handle its holdings in stocks like NC and MIN, so it keeps taking out loans and dropping the price of NC. Its goal is to stop the NC from raising money, which would help it pay off its debt and get more cash on hand. NC is strong because it has a large group of investors who back it. Tens of thousands of people own shares and support the company. Shorts don't want an MC to raise money because it could put their roles at risk. A short squeeze would happen if an MC could raise a lot of money. This would allow it to pay off its debt and raise the price of its stock. Short sellers want MC to fail or be taken off the stock market so they don't have to pay their bets. But this is not likely because ANC has a strong group of investors. Short sellers often go after both MC and MIN. They do this by using algorithms to split up the sources of pressure on both stocks. Because they are both short if one stock goes down, it's possible that the other will too. If there is a short squeeze in GM or another stock, it can lead to a squeeze in NC. Mutual short sellers don't have enough cash to drive down both stocks if one falls. This could make other stocks fall too. These two things are connected, which shows how big a market change could be. G stock price has gone from plus 100.24% to minus 50.89%, which is a big change. Several things lead to this uncertainty, including someone on Reddit said that making 4 million DFV sales could have led to a run. A lot of attention is being paid to how stable hedge funds' earnings are. Berkshire Hathaway just sold $1.4 billion worth of shares in Bank of America. They may have done this because they were worried about the financial health of several banks that were doing risky things. A lot of banks, including JP Morgan, have said they are over leveraged, which means they have more open positions than stock. This leaves them open to financial instability, which is made worse by tricks that make their books look better than they really are. Because of the link between short selling tokens and having a lot of debt, the market is tricky and dangerous. There is a real chance of a big market disruption, especially if FTDs and overleverage situations keep piling up. As these changes happen, investors need to stay aware and on the lookout. That's all we have today. What do you think about NC stock? Leave your answer in the box below and thanks for watching.